to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One. And we have a very illustrious guest with us today. Thank you very much. It's uh, Mr. X. Nice to be back at the Crazy Town Compound. Yeah. Let's oh, get... he's back. <laughs> let's crack into another one. All right. So, uh, TNT. Oh, yeah. Mr. Yeah, yeah. X. All right. Mr. X, I don't know how familiar you are with this. But, uh, so, uh, Nicki Minaj... Yeah, how familiar she, are you with Nicki Minaj? Just in general. I, I know who she is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do you know who Megan Thee Stallion is? Yes. You are familiar. I'm familiar with Megan okay. Thee Stallion. Okay. Okay. I I, uh, I feel like you and I know about the same amount about Megan Thee Stallion, Mr. X. Like, I just know who she is. That's about it. <laughs> well, she's on commercials right now for Planet Fitness. She's oh, there. then she's you know more than I do about yeah, her. So yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. So all so, I really I've heard know- a couple of her songs. There's a situation where she put out a song- and then, yes. Nick, and then Nicki Minaj blew up and was, like, melting down on Twitter for, like, okay. hours and hours so and hours. In, so. the, in the song that, that Megan released, um, I believe it's called Hiss. Yeah, it she was. She says that these MFers be uh, concerned about, not concerned about Megan. They need to be concerned about Megan's law. And okay. You, and if you look on the books... Megan's law is the law that essentially says is that a person who has committed a uh, a sex crime has to uh, tell the neighborhood. Oh, that's the like, hey, I'm a registered that that's that law. Yes, okay, got that you, got is you. called Megan's law. Now, how does this fit into Nicki Minaj and why does she flip out? Well, it turns out that her husband, Kenneth Petty, was convicted of a sexual assault when he was 16 years old against a young girl where he held her at knife point and it is okay gotcha. it's, it's a rough it's a, a rough real story. nasty story yeah now it did happen when he was 16 so obviously now he's like in his 40s or whatever you know so she brought this up and obviously a hit dog is gonna holler so Nicki minaj thought it was a direct shot at her and her family so she decided to go on a rampage and make it about megan and her family and she decided to uh bring up um, Megan's recently deceased mother. Oh, and talk about that in a diss track. Now she brought up a lot of other stuff, and I honestly don't feel like bringing up the memory of the deceased is that far from any diss song that you've heard in the past. And when you think about Biggie and Tupac, there was some pretty flagrant things that have been said, and Ja Rule and uh, and, <laughs> and Fifty Cent. There's been some pretty just just. When you're dissing each other, it gets rough. It gets a little flagrant. Yeah, you can really uh, can really put it, put the knife deep. Well, in it's the like all, all's fair in love and war, right? Exactly. So, yeah. okay. Exactly. It's gonna but be collateral damage. People sometimes. are essentially taking Megan's side in this whole in this whole thing. But I think is that Nicki Minaj is a rapper, and you said something kinda about a rapper. Now she didn't have to comment. She could have just let that slide. You could have been like, all right, she's making a joke about Megan's Law. That's fine. Didn't say her name. It was one line in a song. Nikki made a whole song about her. Oh, really? Okay. Well, and, and I mean, from what I had seen on the interwebs, mm -hmm. she was ranting on Twitter for like 60 hours or something. She was still going on. There were some, some wow. like 62 okay. messages on Twitter. Yeah. Or yes. Yeah. yeah. She, she had numerous. It wasn't just like she said a thing it was like over and this over. is Nicki minaj doing the ranting is yes that right okay but she's been known for doing that you know she's getting older she has to stay relevant so she goes she has her own radio station that she gets on and she you know she talks on her cream radio and usually oh just rants so there. she's not the cream of the crop anymore so yeah, she's trying to stay I, relevant i was gonna say what is her was was uh, what is her relevance level at this point is it time to bring out something and diss somebody so that i mean, I I mean that's what attention. eminem does every so often he's right, like right, i'm gonna right. pop out and say some stuff about some current day rappers and then yeah. disappear again Nicki minaj actually just dropped a uh, an album last month. Did seven well, people that's listen to it? Sold like hotcakes. Oh, so she's still rolling. Literally like 115 million views on her uh, song that she did with Ice Spice for the Barbie movie. She is not lacking relevance. Okay, so she's not needing attention. But you know you can't talk. You, certain things you just can't say to one. She's not Lady of Rage level irrelevant. No, no. But you know if you say something to a woman... They want their they want their revenge. Yeah. And I just I, I mean I can't. All right, my whole thing is that it eventually divulged into something greater where there were actually Nicki Minaj fans that ended up going to the deceased mother's gravesite. What? Holding up signs and uh 
I don't. You know, it's this. It got wait, wait. Little, so the fans went and started doing. The fans some, went and like, started putting like signs on her mom's grave. Yeah, yeah. that escalated very quickly. That did. That, that's a big escalation. That's from, a big. Escalation. Like I think, like talking about someone's dead mom and then going to their grave and posting signs on it. That's a whole next level of it, it disrespect. It like is. what the. No, I that, would say I would say you can't control your fan base, right? I mean, can't control your fan base, and and I and I I'm not gonna put that on Nikki. That's not her problem. You have to put it on Nikki. All right, uh, she could Nikki, have been like she mobilized them. Well, she Nick, Nikki Knights stand down. Well, she didn't stand back. Did did Nikki say, "Hey, y'all go to this grave and do like"? No, I mean she didn't say that, but she did say, "You know how my fans are, and I'm telling my fans right now, do what you gotta do." Hey, she has been known goodness. in the past to mobilize her fan base to enact revenge on other people. That is insane. It is insane. Isn't that Rico? <laughs> no, I mean, nothing illegal happened. If the fans murdered someone, she would have been culpable. She would have been a young thug. Maybe, maybe, but that didn't happen. They just went to her dead mother's grave site and you know, held oh, up some know. signs. Oh. So the police. Came so there's there's an interesting it. parallel here to What's this that? and 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 what you know other things that have happened more recently in the news mm -hmm. is you know. Can you, by tweeting, mobilize people to do bad things? Yes. January 6th may bring, ring a bell. Stand down, something. Proud Boys. Yeah. So, you know? like, down, should man. she, like, is, is is the tweeter really culpable yes. in other people's, act? like, are these people not responsible for their own actions? Yeah. I mean, what if it was like an M, uh, MS-13 gang captain had had twitter and he was like go kill the police on twitter like it i mean essentially if you have followers and they listen to you you are manson told all the people to go do things for he didn't kill a single person that's fair you know so i mean like you are responsible if you have power if, if you have influence and your influencers go do things because you said something it kind of falls on you because you could easily have just said i know y'all want to go do something hold off yeah you know, yeah. I, you know, it's, and, and I can't, I can't say that she did not do that. She a hundred percent did. If you, even in the song, the diss track, she is clearly mobilizing her, oh, her you got fan the, base in you order got the to proof? extract revenge. What's that? You got the proof? I mean, I got some of the lyrics if you yeah, want to look yeah, at them. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see some of this. Cause, we cause, look at some of the lyrics yeah. Here. I mean, we got the basic story down. I want to see some of these. I know what I'm doing with my own computer. I do. Bigfoot. Oh, it literally just says. In response to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she, you know, she goes, she, she is a, she is a talented artist. I will say that much. Um, I'm just putting the lyrics on screen right now. I don't know if I can play them. So. How you F your mother man when she die. Yeah. So in the song, she does say you lying on your dead mama. You lying on your dead mama. She also claims that you realize that, uh, you remember that Megan Thee Stallion was recently in a, uh, in a court case where another man shot her. Um, he was also famous. Another man allegedly shot her. Oh, oh my God. I just saw some, wow. It's a, it's a direct diss track. Oh yeah. It's a hundred percent about her. And she, uh, she says is that she even knows information on that to prove is that she's been lying about what actually happened and the incident that led up to the, the young man being, uh, uh, in prison. There's been a lot of, uh, talk about a, a videotape that actually, uh, absolves the young man who went to jail and indicts one of Megan Thee Stallion's friends. Now, I'm not going to say is that Nicki Minaj is a super sleuth, but to <laughs> sit here and act like she's not a millionaire is insane, and millionaires can get their hands on anything they want. Well, I mean, she also has some pull in the rap game. You know some people in the rap game know some things about some things that they didn't talk about. Exactly. So, I mean, that, that's pretty much the end of the story, man. You got to watch out for Nicki Minaj if you're out here talking shit. And I still say is that Nicki won the rap battle. If this is a rap battle, Nicki won because she rapped. Megan Thee Stallion said one line and then hit her hand. So has Megan Thee Stallion, like, Nothing. responded back? or she Nothing. She's being the bigger person here and be like. There's no bigger person here. I don't know, man. You are, if you are a rapper. Then there's certain rules you gotta live by. If somebody talks shit about you, you gotta talk shit back. You can't sit up there and talk shit, and then when they say something that hurts your feelings, well, Megan, oh, I'm done now. Megan probably doesn't want to lose that Planet Fitness money, and if she goes and does <laughs> yeah, something crazy, exactly. you can say follow yeah. Megan's law, and that's like, oh, like yeah, that's like if you if you a sex offender, you better tell everybody. And then like, but if she was out here like talking about some 
other stuff, Plant Fitness would have been like, nah. No, we're good. That's in yeah. our contract. You're out. That's pretty true. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. That's probably why Megan, Megan yeah. what's her face, is not. She went anything, mainstream, but... and now she's stuck. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm standing on business. Megan lost. Okay. She's I don't okay. have an Fair opinion. But... I have zero opinion on this. Yeah. Right. But... If it was two guys, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Why? Because they would have been fighting? One of them would have been dead? What? No. Because <laughs> this would have been, we would have been talking about the two songs that came out, and then one of the next one's going to drop. Oh. Know? Except for Drake, because somebody else would have wrote his. He didn't write a song. He wrote a comeback. Did he? he? Who wrote it for him? He Did he won't. sing it? Wow. Yeah. Anyways, that's all that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. For Jonas. TNT. And Mr. X. Uh, we out.